How much froth is my hardcore Iron Man which cannot leave PvP worlds? The account got one major goal and that is obtaining an infernal cape. This series could end at any point and the current bounty is on screen. Good luck gamers. <coughs> there is one thing I want to do a lot in this episode and that is right here. Barrows. This episode's first barrel chest is... Blood runes. On my original PvP Hardcore Iron Man, I did over 1000 barrel chests and I don't want to do that many this time around. So the only item I am going for currently is a pair of tank legs and maybe even a tank body. And I'm out. Another barrel chest coming in. What? Okay, I think this is gonna be the level. 83. Hunter, we can now catch dragon implings without a boost. Oh my god. Uh, he's not gonna be there, right? If I go back. Oh, he is still here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and there we go, 72. Thieving. All right, I want to do a quest. Family quest is the quest I want to complete. This is a prerequisite for Legends quest. And that's the final crest part. I think we have all three now, so we can get out of here. And there we go. The quest have been completed. Family crest completed. We now have all the requirements for the Legends quest. I might actually try to do this one. Oh my god. Two peekers were, were there. He's about to die. <gasps> he TV'd me. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh no, shit. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> I was just watching their fight. I didn't think the PJ timer would work like that. Alright, it's another day, another barrel chest. We get nothing. Oh, there is Netta. And there we go, 73 thieving. And nothing, we get 40 blood runes. I did get a lot of complaints in the last episode about my black gloves. And for that reason, I made myself a brulee supreme. And I completed another part, ceramic varsi. So if I'm not mistaken, we should now be able to buy ourselves Mitra Gloves, a nice little upgrade if we look at the melee strength, plus 59 to plus 60. Alright, another barrel chest. Eh, uh, Varrox Flail! I think I have the... Is that a dupe? I mean, it's good if it's a dupe because that's a high alt then. Yep, it is a dupe item. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna high alt the extra Varrox Flail. Here we go, proceed to high alt. 96k. Very nice. I'm gonna reinvest it into Bloodroots straight away. Back to back chest. Here we go. Okay, we got the Raycon Everyday Earbuds. And luckily for all of us, Raycon is today's video sponsor. Mother's Day is soon coming up and the Raycon Everyday Earbuds could just be the perfect gift. They are user friendly and very easy to set up. And let's not forget you can take calls with Raycon which is perfect for super moms who masters multitasking while keeping their hands free. Raycons come in a bunch of fun color options so find something that suits mom's personality and style. These earbuds start at half the price of other premium audio brands and they sound just as good. And with optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit, these earbuds are so comfortable. The Raycon earbuds offer 8 hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery life. And the Raycon everyday earbuds have over 49,000 5-star reviews. Click the link in the description box down below or go to buyraycon.com slash cengineer to get 15% discount of your Raycon purchase. There we go, 74 thieving. Another thieving level, 75 thieving. We can actually now pickpocket gnomes. If I want to, I can pickpocket gnomes for gold ores and fire orbs, but I might just stick to the RD knights. So I have all these 1300 chinchompas. I still haven't used them. What? I was just about to do it and a level 6 is there. What? Picking up spider eggs? And there it is, 60 cooking. Alright, another chest for nothing. Here comes another chest for nothing. Oh my god, so, someone was actually waiting there. <laughs> Wait. 
<laughs> he was level 7, so I don't think he could have killed me, but okay. This is some of the best experience in the game. Very scary though, but definitely worth it if I don't die. I get quite a lot of cosmic runes from here, which is very nice. Um, I'm gonna bank actually. Here we go, there we go, 66 defense, and there we go, 7-7 seven, seven range, beautiful. Oh, that's a level 7-7 seven, seven mining. Oh my god, I just got in and someone just had blocked me again. I think we deserve something from this chest. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god, that's huge. Give me it, let's go, <laughs> yes. Oh, wait, do I even want that? I mean, I'd prefer tank legs or tank body, but you know, Aram's top, I cannot complain and I cannot wear it. We actually got a good item. That's like one of the top items you actually want. Now I just need uh, 70 defense and I'm uh, good to use this. So throughout this week, I have been mining shooting stars and I've gotten 10,000 stardust actually. And I bought 30 bags of full gems. So this is gonna be plenty of crafting experience. Maybe we're lucky and can get a lot of dragonstones. Look at that. We got eight dragonstones. All of them are worth 10k each. Good high offs. And that is 62 crafting. 63 crafting. All right, this is the back-to-back -back chest. Anything? Nothing. Imagine if we get the onyx one day from these. That would have been the dream. That is 64 crafting. All right, we're gonna kick him out. Get out of here. I never thought I would be using this method, but I'm pickpocketing gnome women for gold doors. Wait, what? We're going into the instance. I did not see him there. Who was that? 60 attack. Oh, I need to focus more. What's wrong with me? Oh my God. Like this episode, I haven't focused at all. So many people, so many chances. And here I am taking Debo specs to the head. And that was off prayer, so I could have died. Thank God I did use the good extra store, but oh my god. 6 to 1, cooking. And there we go, 7 to 6, thieving. 7 to 7, thieving. 7 to 8, thieving. Alright guys, I want to start getting my melee up. And to make it as efficient as possible, I need to upgrade my gear. So, I want to get myself a strength bonus helmet. We're gonna need 7 to 3k. And there we go, we got 7 to 6k tackle. That should be enough. Obsidian helmet upgrade a beautiful upgrade. All right So this helmet if we look at the middle strength plus 55 it goes up by 3 plus 58 So this is gonna make it quicker for me to train melee get 70 defense. All right, here's a level 67 defense I did some cooking. We are 61 cooking and now we are 63 cooking two cooking levels Beautiful. I remember the good old days when I was alone mining these stars. Now the, the peakers, the hunters are taking all my stardust. I decided to complete a slayer task and that's a task completed. And that is 52 slayer. And that is the task completed. You know, there was some guy in the YouTube comments who laughed at my rune crafting level. I have 12 rune crafting, but look at this. I have now 13 rune crafting, so joke's on you. Oh. <clears throat> okay, someone was waiting there. Yeah, he's still here. Uh, he hit the TB twice. Is he still here though? He hit it again! What is going on here? What? It's a spectral. He dropped a spectral. They're luring this guy. 79 thieving. It's another day, another barrel chest. And we get nothing. Another slayer task completed. Look at all the monkey corpse. Task number 58 completed. Yeah, one level, 64 cooking. And that is 80 thieving. Another barrel chest for nothing. And here we go, 68 defense, two levels left until 70. That's another bright photo kill, can we get lucky? On that item we need. <gasps> no way, we got, we, oh my, isn't this, this is super rare. <laughs> no way, we, I, I was joking when I said we should get it. And we got it. How do I make this into a staff? 
battle staff. I need a battle staff. I don't have a battle staff. Battle staff. Beautiful. We got a battle staff. Here we go. Use it. Look at the animation. Look at it. It's not nice. Wait. Use nature. Okay, now it's charged. Look how nice it is. It's fashion escape. Let's look at the stats here. Um, magic defense, 112. It's better. It's my new best in slot magic defense staff. All right, it's not only nice, but it's, it's an upgrade. The drop rate is one in 118, so it wasn't that lucky, but it's pretty lucky. Imagine getting a back-to-back -back rune longsword. Rune plate legs, thank you. Last by photo kill for rune sword. Oh, we got a casket already. Nice, a medium casket. Saradona page, okay. Absolutely nothing. For nothing. For nothing. 70 kill count. Quite a nice number. 76 hit points. 82 magic. 12 more gem bags. Can we get an onyx? Nope, no onyx. 69 defense. Nice. And that is another thieving level 81 coming in. 82 thieving. Alright, I'm gonna show you the new spot I can use now that I am 82 thieving. Here in Yano, south of the bank, we can go down here, through this door, and downstairs, and we have an old spot we have been playing at before, the Chaos Roots, a location with plenty of herbs, and I can now pick this lock and enter and exit without any problems. This journey to 70 defense have been a very long journey. We have been interrupted so many times by PKers and hunters while grinding this level, but we are now close, finishing up here, 200 XP left. This could be the level. Yeah, there it is. 70 defense, 86 combat, 1475 total level, and we are done. We have so many upgrades, I can show you guys now. Okay, firstly, look at all the herbs we have collected, that's so much. And now let's have a look at the gear. Um, look at that, we have some barrels pieces, we have a crystal shield, and... Look at the staff, we have so much fashion <laughs> gear. This is such a weird gear. From an obby shield? to a crystal shield, that's 200 magic defense and a plus 12 in slash melee defense. And then we also have this Aram's top, my new best in slot magic attack uh, equipment. So some very nice upgrades and let's not forget the material gloves. And that is where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Give the video a like if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys maybe in one week. And of course the bounty have increased by 50 mil, plus 6 mil, plus 10 mil, plus 10 mil, plus 73 mil, putting the bounty at 8 billion, 274 million. Uh, so I know it's been a month since I last uploaded, but there's a very good reason for why I haven't uploaded in a while. You see, my sister is getting married. So my sister and her fiance decided to take the wedding away from Sweden to the Indian Ocean to a small island called Mauritius. The wedding was scheduled at the end of our 9 day stay so we had 7 days to explore and enjoy Mauritius. I saw dolphins for the first time here. Not only one, but a whole family. I also did zipline for the first time here. They have a 1.5 kilometers long zipline here in Mauritius. And we also did a lot of drinking. Rum specifically, Mauritius is known for having a great rum culture. And it's safe to say that we got drunk. Hey, hey, hey. And after recovering from all the alcohol, we did some parasailing. There's always something special about seeing a country from the sky, which is why I always love to do some parasailing. But now for the serious part, the reason why we all are here, the wedding. As my beautiful sister walks down the aisle together with our parents, our friends were crying, our aunts were crying, everyone was crying. And with the sunset in the background, they both said I do and dance out to the copyrighted song Suavemente. I can't really play the song, but it goes something like Suavemente, pesame, how can I be the And 
And once the ceremony was over and the pictures were taken, the party began. Plenty of dancing, plenty of performances. And on every wedding, there is a tradition for the bride to throw the bouquet to the girls and whoever catches it is the next person to get married. But little did the girl in red know that everyone let her catch the bouquet because tomorrow a special man had planned to ask her a special question. She said yes. A successful proposal, a successful wedding, a successful vacation. Now I just need you guys to successfully hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.